Hey guys, it's Sydney at Treadmill Review Guru. Today I'm comparing Averon rowers. We have the Impact Series rower and the Strong Series rower. How do they compare and how do they differ? Let's jump in and check them out. So let's start with how these rowers are similar. They're both hybrid rowers, so their flywheels have fans with vents that suck in air to use resistance. So the harder you row, the more tension that you're going to get. And they also use magnetic resistance. So there's 16 different levels on each of them with the magnetic resistance, and both really offer a great deal of tension. However, just know that the air resistance does make some noise, so keep that in mind if you live in, like say, an apartment. They're also both pretty lightweight. So the Impact Series weighs just 97 pounds and the Strong Series weighs 114 pounds. They both have transportation wheels, so they're pretty easy to move around. And they're both made with steel and aluminum. So they're lightweight, yet they feel really stable to use. We really don't experience any you know, rocking or instability when we're using either rower. And they both handle a lot of weight. So the Impact Series handles around 400 pounds, 397 to be exact. And the Strong Series handles up to 507 pounds. That 500 pound weight limit is usually the highest limit that we see on rowers. And they both have the same rounded handle that we really like. The handle rotates so you can kind of shift it. And then when you are rowing, it will adjust so your wrists and your hands stay in a neutral position so it stays correct so you know you don't get broken wrists like this so we really like this handle it's really comfortable it's also long which is great for you know larger users and on the strong series you can also purchase the handle with adjustment buttons here in the middle so this is you know where you're rowing mid stroke you can press one of those buttons to be able to adjust the magnetic resistance instead of having to you know lean forward and touch the little buttons on the screen so this is a really nice upgrade and it's available on the strong series and they both have belt drive systems. So there's a belt that then connects the handle to the flywheel, and that's where you know you get the tension to be able to row against. With belts, they're smooth, they're also quiet, and they require a lot less maintenance than chains. And the Impact and the Strong Series, they both come with the same seat. We do have an upgraded seat on the Strong Series, but with the standard seat, it's not quite our favorite. It's wide, but it's pretty firm, so it's kind of, you know, hard to sit on. Where with this upgraded seat, called the Cloud Seat, has a little bit more forgiving padding, so it just feels a little bit softer. I highly recommend upgrading to that. And both of the Averon rowers have a 22-inch touchscreen. So with the Impact, it does tilt up and down, so you can be able to, you know, get rid of any overhead glare, be able to get it at your eye level. With the Strong Series, it tilts up and down, and then it can also pivot to either side, so you have a lot more adjustability, which is really awesome. But both screens are, they're clear, they're easy to see. And my favorite aspect of Averon Rowers is the subscription content. With the subscription, you get access to video game content, you can play games where you, know, you shoot at different targets, and there's even a game where you have to swim away from a shark. There's also games that are structured like complete workouts. You can you know, race against other members or friends who have the Averon rower. You can compete on the leaderboard and you can see how you stack up against professional athletes like boxers and sprinters. And for those who like to watch TV and work out, you know, raise my hand there. You can stream apps like Netflix and Hulu, you know, while rowing, which is really fun on both options with that subscription. Plus there's also guided workouts that are really great for beginners and there's virtual videos, you know, in case you want to feel more like you're rowing outside on actual water, they're filmed on a rowing shell. So overall, Averon's content is really fun and it makes rowing fun, which I think is definitely a hard thing to do because it's such a hard workout. But let's jump in with how these rowers are different. All right, so as far as how the Strong Series and the Impact Series are different, they both vary a little bit in their footprint. The Impact Series is 97 inches long and the Strong Series is about 84 inches long. So the Strong Series takes up less space when you're using it. 
However, the impact series does fold up. So it folds right here just in between the footboards and you can fold it up and be able to push it around really easily. So it saves you a lot of space. The strong rower can be stored upright. So you just need to make sure that you have a high enough ceiling to store it that way. They both have tall seats. So they're about 20 inches high and this makes them really easy to get on and off of. However, the Strong Series kind of takes getting on and off kind of to that next level because it has a low rail. So the rail's only about 10 inches high. And this means that you don't have to, you know, swing your leg up quite as high to be able to get on and off. So just kind of makes it even more friendly if you have mobility issues, but really both, both rowers are relatively easy to get on and off of. Also in the pedals is where they are different too. So I like the spacing on the Impact Series. I think it's appropriate kind of for most people. You have enough room and you don't feel, you know, too cramped where other rowers with the pedals a little bit closer together. You can just kind of feel, especially for larger users, you can feel a little bit more constricted. The Strong Series definitely gives you a little bit more range to work with because you can adjust the width of the pedals. So there's a crank here where you can crank it in to bring those pedals closer together. And you can also crank it out to bring the pedals wider. So this way you can get just an even better fit, like especially considering, you know, we all have different builds, different hip widths. This just helps, you know, make your rowing experience even more comfortable. And we haven't seen this feature on other rowers, but I definitely think more rowers should incorporate this. They're also different in price. So at the time of filming this, the Impact Series is a few hundred dollars cheaper than the Strong Series. And you know, if you want some of those add-ons like the handle, the softer seat, that's gonna be you know, an additional price. So just keep that in mind. So you will be paying a little bit more for the Strong Series. However, we do recommend both. All right, now I'm going to let you see the Impact Series and the Strong Series in action, let you listen to them. But first, if you find this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great content coming your way. With these, just know with that air resistance, they do make some noise, so keep that in mind for your home. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of which Averon rower is best for you. We really have enjoyed using both of these rowers and we recommend them both. The Impact Series rower is a little bit more affordable, but the Strong Series comes with some really thoughtful features that I think make it even more accessible to more people. But no matter which rower you choose though, definitely you're going to have a lot of fun with the gaming content on the touchscreen. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head to treadmillreviewguru.com to our best rowers list to learn more about both of these Averon rowers. We have individual reviews. You'll also find them both on our best rowers list. They're one of our top rowers that we recommend. We also you know, have individual video reviews on our YouTube channel that go into even more specifics of each rower. So make sure you check out those, check out that best page and to check the current price, you can head to the links in the description. These are our affiliate links and purchasing through them helps us out so we can keep making reviews and comparisons like this. And if you like this video and find it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great content coming your way. We also have some more comparison reviews. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm Sydney with Treadmill Review Viru. I'll see you next time.